This is going to be a quick video to demonstrate how to work with layers and shapes in Affinity Publisher. And this is version 2, but it works the same in version 1. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to create me a new document. And I'm just going to click Create here. And I'm going to grab me a shape from my shape tool. Let's say we'll start with a rectangle. And we'll draw out a rectangle. First thing you notice about the rectangle, it's got a blue bounding box around it. That means it's selected. So you can do things like grab it, resize it, go over to your color panel, change the color of it. So anytime that's selected, whatever you do is going to affect that particular shape. Now, if you will look to your right, you'll see your shape is in a layer all by itself. It's called a rectangle. And below it is the master page. It's a default that uh, Affinity Publisher does is create a master page. So if we select another shape, let's say a, an ellipse here. And this one I'm going to press shift to constrain it. That way to not make it like that, I want to constrain it. And let's change that color. And you'll notice over here it put another layer called the ellipse. Now... The ellipse is on top of the rectangle, which means if I were to move this, if I select the Move tool, and I go Move this, it will appear over the blue rectangle. But if I move the rectangle above it, it will appear over the ellipse. And if I add, let's say, a third shape, let's say we'll put us a triangle here. Again, I'm going to hold Shift, constrain it a little bit, and we'll make this a different color. And now if I grab the move tool and move it, it will be on top of both of those. Now if I move the triangle down below the rectangle, it is now, the rectangle is on top of it. However, the triangle remains on top of the ellipse. So that's how shapes and layers work. You can move them around, adjust them the way that you want them. And to get rid of anything, you can simply uh, make sure the shape that you want to get rid of is selected. Hit the delete key. Or you can come over here and hit the trash key under your layers panel. And that's all there is to working with shapes and layers. And if this has helped you, how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and you have a good day.